Hi everyone, today's video share, I have a fun project that I want to share with you. I created a stacked envelope flip book and I have two different styles that I want to share with you. The first one is a Christmas tree and what inspired me is the 12 days of Christmas and I'll show this one to you in a little bit. This is the other one, this is just a Christmas themed one and this one is a planner themed one and then this one is just a embellishment a little tiny one so I used my mini envelope punch board to create this little small one right here and then for the three of those I used my regular we are memory keepers envelope punch board so like I mentioned earlier I was inspired by the 12 days of Christmas and for the base it's basically two a match boxes stacked together and um, this is using the Spellbinders match box die and I'll put that link down below or on the information down below the die and um, you know with the 12 days of Christmas you know the first day you got you know one thing and then the second day there's two things in the third day and you know and so forth so what I did was um, I took six different sizes of the envelopes and then I made two of each to create the 12 and then you can see it's wrapped um, like a gift. So I just took some twine and then I just wrapped it. And then of course I have my flower as my tree topper. And then so the first envelope is the first day. So we have one little deer die cut. And then the second day we have two charms. So these are from Hobby Lobby. The third day, we got three frame die cuts. This is using a Spellbinders die. The fourth day, I have four glittered hearts. The fifth day, I have five die cuts of these cute bows by Spellbinders. The sixth day are six tags. These tags, I just fussy cut out from um, the paper pad. This is the Michaels Hot Buy paper pad. And I'll put the information down below. And the seventh day, I have seven wood veneers. These are from Joanne. So those cute little wood critters. And I added some little snowflakes inside the bag. The eighth day, I have eight Christmas tags. This is a die from AliExpress. The ninth day, I have nine little Christmas trees from my EK Success Punch. And then Nine Little Christmas Sentiments from Miss Sizzix Die. And then the 10th day, I got 10 White Prima Flowers. And then the 11th day, I got 11 Frames. This is from, a again, an AliExpress die. And then the 12th day, I got 12 Ornaments. This is part of the paper pad that I fussy cut out. So you can see how I did the 12 Days of Christmas theme. And it, the envelopes just flip up, just like a flip book. And then I added these cute little pom-poms to act as ornaments. And then all you do is just take a um, hole punch and punch the first envelope, run some twine through there, and then you're going to wrap it like this. And then you're going to cross it just like you would with a gift, the bottom. Bring it back up, and then you're going to tie your bow. And then you can add a tag. Here I added a tag, and also a cute little bell. And if you want to go all out, you can just punch little holes, like on the edges of the envelopes, and take a jump ring and add some charms to also act as ornaments. And I love how this one turned out. Now this one is more of a planner theme, so these are just stacked envelopes. I didn't put a base because it's not a Christmas tree, but it's the same concept. So this one has six different sizes, and then you're going to um, add all your embellishments. So this is part of that Planner Society kit. So the first envelope is a paper clip, and then the second one, so you can add a card. You can dedicate one of the envelopes to create the card, and then this card, I add some die cuts in there, and again, all these embellishments and um, things I added in the envelopes are from the kit. 
and then the third one has the tabs with the stickers. The fourth envelope has this cute little notepad. And then the fifth one has the stamp set. And then the last one has the paper clips with the ribbon. And so it's a fun way to create a little stacked envelope for your planner friend. And then same thing, you're going to tie just like we did with the tree. And then make a bow. And then I added one of the tags from the kit. And then you're going to add your little tag through there. And then just tie it up and make a bow. So you can do this with lace. It doesn't have to be, you know, twine. There you go. Twine is just easier to run through the punched hole on the top envelope. This one is a Christmas theme one. And this is the Sand Baby by Prima. So you could take your die cuts and see how I added it to the envelope to give it a little decoration. This one I added some pom-poms and some of the coordinating chipboard adhesive stickers. And then I add the Merry Christmas one on the bottom. So you can decorate the outside of the envelope. It's really cute. So the first envelope, I added the card. And then you can also make a, um, add a gift card, which would be nice. And then here are some of those cute little Christmas cookies from the Tim Holtz die. And then the last one are those Christmas tags um, that I shared in a video. So if you just want to give some you know, Christmas tags and a gift card and a card. This is a cute way. So that's that one. And then this one, little tiny one, is just a cute way to gift some embellishments. This is using that Dear Lizzie Stay Colorful um, paper pad. So you can see how tiny these are. So this is what, five envelopes? So I added a Prima flower. And then the first one, you can add a little tiny bag of sequins. And then this is like a um, mermaid theme because it has a mermaid. So I added a mermaid paper clip on the second envelope. The third one, I added some pom-poms from Daiso. And then this one is just a pre-made flower I made. And then the last book, last one is the book, little book that I made that I shared in a prior video. So that's a, a fun little cute way to give some embellishments. And then again, same thing, you're going to wrap it like you did with the other three. As you can see, I had fun making this. And the fun thing is you can add as many different sized envelopes as you want. Now, if you don't have the punch board, you can buy pre-made envelopes if you'd like. And you could stack those as well. Or if you have a scoreboard, you can make envelopes, you know, with a scoreboard. So that's that one. Okay, so let me show you really quickly how I put it together. So we're just going to do three envelopes. And again, you know, you can add as many as you want. So I'm going to use the little small tiny one. And I've seen people haul this from Tuesday morning. So if you have a local Tuesday morning, you can pick that up. So we're going to use three different envelopes. And I'm going to start with the largest one first. So this is five and a half by five and a half. And on the board, you're going to score it two and three quarters. I'm going to flip it so it's easier for me to see the score lines. So let's see, two and three quarters. And then I'm going to punch. I'm going to score. And the fun thing is, you can, you know, make this with any theme, any paper. It's just another fun way to gift embellishments. And then we'll corner around the corners. Okay, so that is that one. The second one is four and seven eighths by four and seven eighths, and you're gonna score it two and a half. So let's find the two and a half mark. OK. 
Okay, let's corner around. Okay, and then the last one, the small, which is going to be the top. This is four and one eighths by four and one eighths, and you want to score it two inches. So score two. Oops. And if you have like some envelope dies, like those decorative envelopes dies, that would be really pretty too to create this with. Okay, so let's score the corn, I mean, uh, corn around these corners. Oops, sorry, just dropped my ink pad there. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a little trick. Now I don't, um, when I fold the score lines, I don't, um, Varnish the, the scored lines to make it completely flat like an envelope. And the reason why I did that is because, let me show you. If you'll notice on the envelopes, you see how it looks a little dimensional. It's not a complete flat envelope. So it just gives it a little dimension when you stack them. Just kind of like this one as well. You see how it has, it looks like a little, I guess a little puffy, the envelope. And how I did that was I just fold the score lines, just like that. I don't like even do that. I don't make it flat or I don't even use my bone folder. I just do that. And then when you do that, you'll notice, see, when you close it up, it has like a little dimension to the envelope. You can see that. Versus if, if, I, if it was completely flat, okay? So I do that to all the envelopes. So I just kind of give it a little fold. I don't press it really hard. Just like so. Okay, so what we're gonna do is add some score tape. So I use some double-sided score tape here. So we're gonna add that. So let me get my pick here. Okay, see, how's it put a little puff there? Just gonna leave it like that. Let's do the next one. And this would look really pretty with um, double-sided paper because, you know, you you do see the inside and outside of the envelope. Okay, and then we'll do the last one. Now I need to buy um, a lot of different size clear bags so I can add it into these envelopes. And then just do that. Okay, so now to adhere them together. So what you're gonna do first is you're gonna take your bottom one and you're only gonna add adhesive at this, like this section of the flap, okay? Um, basically, it can't go over the envelope. So as long as that part of the envelope is covered and it's not, you know, past this envelope, then you're fine with adhesive. All I do is I just put a little bit right here, like right where the tip is, and then I just do this. Now it's not even, you know, it's not even straight. Just, just enough to hold that envelope that's gonna go on top. Um, you have the option to stagger it or just place it right on top. The reason why I staggered this one because there's 12 envelopes and then it kind of looks more like a Christmas tree. 
So this one I'm just going to place right on top and just make sure it's like in the center or somewhat in the center. Okay, so like that. You see how it just adhered to it? Okay, and then I'm gonna take this one and add the adhesive to this flap. And then I'm gonna place this on top of that, like so. Make sure. And there you go, so you've got your flipped envelope. Okay, and now that you want to do next is take a hole punch. So this is just a 1 8 hole punch. And you're gonna punch right there. You have the option to use an eyelet if you want, or you could just leave it as is. Okay, and then you're going to take some twine. So I'm going to use, let's see, I'll use this one. I've had this forever. I, I don't even remember where I bought this, but this is going to last me a long time. So I'm going to take some of the twine, run it through the hole. I don't cut it yet because I want to make sure I have enough. And then I'm going to have enough to her. I can flip it over. Now you want to keep in mind you haven't added your embellishments yet, so you might need a longer piece. And then you're just going to tie your knot, or well, tie it like so, just like you would with a present. And then you go around and then tie your bow. Just like that. And then just trim it so let me get my scissors and cut this and that's how you make it and then again you can decorate it however you want you know, there's so many different ways you can decorate these envelopes and that's another one and this is the Christmas tree. So I will put the measurements of the, the Christmas tree, the envelope sizes that I used. And again, I used two of each size to create 12. So there's six different sizes. And then this one, there's three. And this one has, what, five. And then this one has six different sizes. Okay, so I hope you give it a try. It was a really fun project. And thanks for watching. Bye.